welcome back to my channel yes it's a tutorial or it is a makeup look i know i've been doing vlogmas and i haven't really been posting a lot of looks but today i decided to do a look for you guys so this is a christmasy look the last christmas look i did were the christmas lights if you guys want to check that out it is there um but if you are looking for more of an actual look rather than something like artsy um then i would say this look i really really love this look i love the way it came out and yeah it looked better if i had my green sweater but it's in the car and i don't feel like going away to go get it when i have to leave already <laughs> but anyway so this is the look i hope you guys like it if you want to see how i did this look then um okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and go in you already know with the james charles morphe palette just because again i feel like this palette the reason why i bought it was because they're so that red is calling my name and it's really pigmented so in order for me to do this look like i need like a really intense pigmented red shadow i have greens i have a lot of greens but i like this green that's in here because it's a matte color and it's like a christmas tree green which is what i'm looking for and most of the greens that i do have are kind of like a different type of green or they're like a little too dark green or a too light green so that's why i'm going to use this palette now if you have you don't have this palette I know it's hard. I don't know when they're restocking. Again, I will let you guys know. Follow me on my Snapchat and I will let you guys know when it's restocked or on my Instagram. But for now, I'm, this is the palette that I'm going to use. So again, if you have different colors out there, I always made it work with other shadows that I've had. So don't feel like you need to have this palette to create <clears throat> this Christmassy look. But if you are here just to watch, then um, yeah, grab a snack and let's get this started. So, um... Oh, my eyebrow looks all over jacked up. So I'm going to go in with this green one, which I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys now the shadows I'm going to be using. I'm going to do this look with two colors only. Well, actually three, but the other is the glitter. So I'm going to go in with this Christmassy green right here, and then I'm going to go in with this bright red here. So those are the two colors I'm going to use. And if I need to tell you guys the names, the red one is your kidding, and the green one is a daddy. So... That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the green one. I'm going to go ahead and use the green one first. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to pick this shadow brush right here. I don't even know. I use this all the time. And I can't really read the name on it anymore. But anyway, I'm just going to go in the crease area. And I'm just going to blend the crap out of this. And I'm just going to go in. Now, if you get some of the lower um, lid, that's fine. You can always cut the crease a little bit, which I will probably be doing because I wasn't going to cut the crease. I'm just going to put the glitter on there, but now I feel like I need to cut the crease a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and just add and blend. And that's the key, guys, because I know a lot of people are like, what am I doing wrong? Um, some of them are like new to makeup and it, like, makeup look, look looks good. It's just... The, key, the one that I find everyone doing wrong is just the blending part. If you should, it's going to take a while, and I understand some people are impatient. But if you want that look, you got to you gotta blend. <clears throat> My throat, hello. So I, that's all I'm doing. I just like really love this palette because the colors are so pigmented. He did an amazing job creating this. And now I do have other makeup that's coming in that I cannot freaking wait. Okay, so it's like a whole set and you'll see. So I went ahead and did this one. Now the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a red one and I'm going to do a different brush. Okay, because you don't want to mix the colors on a one single brush, which I've done before. But I only did it because they were going to layer each other. So I am just going to go... In with this red oh bitch it's like so pigmented I love this red this is like what really sold me for this palette was this red and I am dying like I love this freaking red so it's just doing the same thing I did on this other eye with the green but with the red you see that Ooh, girl it's so pretty Now, if you are new and you're scared of fallout, there really isn't hardly any fallout with these shadows. But if you do, all you gotta do is just put some setting powder right here. Just like a whole bunch like I did on that video 
uh, my vlogmas if you can check those out i did this, a really cool look with my on my cousin's eyes she bought the palette as well i know i told her about it when it was um restocked and she's like i don't know i'm new i don't do eyeshadow and I'm like girl you need to get it now because it'll be sold out and i'll teach you how to do color she's like, okay so she bought it so i went over and i did her eyes using her palette and yeah i really loved it um so anyway so this is what i'm doing and that's about it so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and you guys already know what i cut my crease with i always use the kat von d white out just because it's white and i just feel like it just shows more so i'm just gonna go ahead and use like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and get like this little flat brush right here i would need to wash my brushes so bad so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up and then i'm just gonna cut just enough where you know that when you open or close your lid it's gonna show so that's all i'm just carving it what are you doing okay and then carve it there apply some See how that looks, but I want to add a little bit more to cutting because I want a little bit higher up okay. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is go in. You already guys know NYX glitter primer, I love to use this when I'm gonna use any kind of glitter. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a small little flat brush like this and I'm just gonna like smear it on this brush just like that and then I'm gonna go over it lightly because you don't want it to crease just like that and then going in with the Too Faced gl loose glitter and it looks like that and then I'm just gonna grab some and then apply it. <laughs> oh, girl. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this one to this one. And then so I already did this eye. So I'm going to go ahead. I already did add it more red. So I'm going to go back in with that green. Daddy thing is what it's called, and then I'm just gonna go above it, just kind of blend it the edges right here, and then just go on top and just add some of that green, and then go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal, which you guys already know. If you want, I can go ahead and just do this quick and fast forward it, just because it's nothing new. It's just I don't know want to use I always go to the Maybelline one I love this concealer it is a drugstore and if you've been watching me for a while you guys already know that I love this I feel like kind of like a dupe for the um, shape tape because I have a shape tape as well but I just love this one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and you guys already know because I do have oily skin I don't like this setting spray but I've noticed that I've been using it for just to like spray and do the concealer and it helps out with because it's a matte so if you are having problems with your oily skin and the concealer try buying a matte setting spray and then just dabbing it with your concealer and it helps a lot with that oilness i know it does for me um but it's the Too faced one the peach mist I don't like to use it all over my face, but I do like to set it with the, I push in the product for the settings. Um, the I'm gonna go in with the um, peach. Oh, I guess it's really, I guess I didn't close it right, or I had some top lid. I love to use the peach one, just 
to set under. I like to use it for here, underneath my eyes, nose, my forehead, and my chin. With my, with my air spun, I'm trying to use the last of this because I have a backup. You see? I have backups. So, and my daughter would always use my pricey too for like to get here on time and stuff for shipping and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Might as well. I already know what they like. They're totally different. And versus getting something that they're not going to like. So I bought like little things and then just open them. So one of the things that Destiny got was the air spun. So she can have her own. So Addison has her first band concert. They've never had a band concert in sixth grade before. Usually they do that when they're like in the orange out there. So I'm just gonna bronze. And you guys already know I use the City Colors Contour Palette. I love this. You can tell that I already used the middle shade. This one was a highlight, but it broke on me. But that was a very pretty highlight as well. You know, you why do you guys even ask? I gotta do a wing liner. Now, if you're not into the wing liner or you just kind of like the way this looks, by all means, go ahead and leave it like that. But me, personally, I gotta add a wing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my wing. I'm gonna fast forward this. lower I'm gonna go ahead and go in <clears throat> with the nude because I don't like to see that tiredness redness I want my eye to be completely like open and not closed out fiber just like that and then I'm gonna go in with this shadow and I'm gonna go under here so I'm gonna do an opposite Set fill. Oh, it's different. Okay. But I want to drag it down a little bit. And I'm going to go in. Like yin and yang. I just love it. Love it! Okay. Now for the middle, of course, I want a little pop of color because I just feel like it's just there. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild. You guys already know. I'm just going to put it in the center. Just like that. Because it gives it a little... Oh yeah. Now for blush. Blush, blush, blush. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with like a mauve. I'm gonna go in with these Wet n Wild Mellow Wine, like this mauve color. Cause I don't wanna go too too bright and pink, so I'm gonna look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this one. for the lips i'm gonna go in with nyx liquid suede in i didn't see if i can see this because this is so kitten hills which just looks like this really pretty bright red i love this little red lipstick i don't know i just like the way it looks and then i'm gonna go in and do some highlights i think i'm gonna go in with my elf one you guys already know because i love this little Elf collab with heart so it comes like this I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two because it gives it that extra pretty highlight I forgot to highlight what okay so 
so this is the final look i hope you guys like this i actually love this look i think it's so pretty i'm gonna wear my green sweater but i left it in my car so i can be more like festive to go see addison play and so yeah this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i actually enjoy this look i like enjoy doing this video for you guys i really like it so i think this is really really cool if you're looking for like a christmas you see look for just every day for christmas for a party for whatever it is yeah i think it's pretty cool so anyway if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to slam the subscribe button ring that bell to notify for future videos and until next time i'll see you tomorrow because i'm vlog my vlogmas don't forget to watch those Mwah. bye